we are outside in my backyard. We started this painting in the backyard, uh, kitting it up, and we're gonna go ahead and finish it off outside. Um, it's a little gray out, which I thought could be good for lighting. Um, it's not sunny, it's very overcast. It looks like it's about to pour down rain any minute. So I just wanted to film this video, um, you know, before that happened. Another reason why I'm outside is because y'all know the kids are out for summer and husband's working. And so it's really hard to do anything in the house right now. <laughs> and I couldn't really fit it uh, anywhere in my bedroom, which is where I normally film. It just was so big. And I wanted y'all to see the majority of it. Um, I think I've got most of it in frame. I mean, you can tell the border, you can kind of see the border. Um, there's a little bit up there that I wasn't able to get, but y'all can see the majority of it. So this is gonna be a post review for Fuji Flora. This is from Diamond Art Club, and it was by Dominic Davison. Uh, what a wonderful experience this was. Y'all, I have just, I mean, look at the colors. The colors are just amazing, um, absolutely amazing. Uh, before we get into the details, um, I, this is my ritual, so I always bring it out and show y'all. But the very first thing, so I just finished this today, as a matter of fact, I just uh, give y'all some history. Just finished it this morning and about two hours ago, and so I went ahead and got my rolling pin. I've already rolled it out. Uh, I didn't figure it would take too long on camera, but you know, just for those of you that may be new, I just roll one way all the way across the painting, just for any drills that may, you know, not have gotten put down all the way flat. And then I go the opposite way. And so I've already done that. So that's the first thing I do. And the second thing I do, which I haven't actually done yet, but I may not do it with, with y'all all the way, but I get a, an old toothbrush that I have just for this reason. Um, and I just kind of, what this does is you just kind of brush the painting. And what it does is it gets any loose dog hair, people hair, um, and also any residue from waxes that you use. And then also with the wax, it's actually spreading the wax residue around and it's gonna shine up the diamonds a little bit more. So um, I will do this before I frame it. I'll just kind of take my time. And it's also a good idea because it gives you, um, you know, a little bit of time to look over it and see if you've missed any areas, any spots, because I haven't really, look down closely yet until I do the brush, but I haven't seen any spots I've missed, but I have a feeling, I mean, this is so big, I surely I missed something, but I haven't seen any, any drills missing yet. So, so far so good. Um, a little bit about the details about the painting. Like I said, it's a DAC Fuji Flora. Uh, it was a 105 centimeter by 70 centimeter. So this is one of the largest ones I've ever done. Um, and what I did was Sander West, one of my friends here on YouTube had uh, gifted me this diamond painting book by another YouTuber, Jennifer Roberts. Um, I'll link this in the description. She sells these on Amazon. It's an awesome book. Um, I didn't have a log book. I've never logged any of my finishes. So what I did was, this is my first finish in the log book. I completed it. It will help with my post reviews, um, just kind of, you know, my thoughts and all the details. And I was able to put that cute little sticker that they give you that I never really know what to do with. Some people put it on their box but I, it fits perfectly in here. It's like it was made for this. So a uh, little bit of details about this. Uh, the price was $79.99. I had a $25 discount from you know the rewards program. So um, the shipping was $7.99 because I didn't have free shipping. I didn't spend enough. So the total was $62.98. Um, I purchased it on February 17th, shipped on February 25th, and I received it on March 3rd. So it came really, really fast. As you know, Diamond Art Club ships you know, here from the US, so they get to us really fast. Um, so the details about how long it took me, I started this on March 16th and I finished it 528. So it took me a little over two months, almost two and a half months, about two months and like a week. So, um, but I, I've got to give myself some, some grace here. I, you know, at the same time that I was kidding this up, it was one of my first, like, I think I'd been doing YouTube for about a week. So I decided to create a YouTube channel and start a big painting ex exactly almost the same time. So I've been trying to juggle, you know, all those things and do this at the same time. And again, there was no rush. The only uh, deadline I had was a June 1st deadline because um, I'm doing an event that uh, is starting June 1st. So I wanted to be able to have this completed, move on to the next painting. All right, so let's talk about some of the details. So the drills, here's what I have left over them down in the bottom. I have, I never ran out of any color. So, and I've got plenty of ABs left. So of course I'll keep those. One, two, and three were ABs. You know, we've got the orange and kind of this fun kind of lime green color. I don't know if y'all can see that. 
and then uh, 141. So that's, you know, the white. Got a few of those. So I like definitely save the ABs. I do save my drills. I only save my Diamond Art Club drills. I don't save drills from any other company. I just want to be consistent, save them from one place. So that was one of the containers. And I was working off of two because there were 66 colors. I don't know if I told y'all it was a square. So here's um, the other colors, but yeah, I had plenty of colors. So I'll have to kit this down and put everything in my long-term storage. Just in case I ever run out of a drill, I'll have it. And then the trash. So this is not a true representation of the trash from the entire painting. It took me so long. There was uh ohs and oo oohs and, <laughs> and oops. Um, a couple times it got spilled not gonna lie it did and so um this is definitely not all the trash now to cover the amount of trash that I had um all along the way I would say that it was typical um there's gonna be trash in every painting that you have I didn't feel like what I didn't feel like it was excessive so I'm not gonna you know really complain about the trash I will dump out the trash that I did collect that I still have um that didn't get spilled and one other thing that I wish I would have realized, because I think it would have helped with the spillages that I had. Um, I don't know if y'all seen, but on my Amazon finds uh, video that I did, I bought that new LED desk lamp. The other day, I just realized, because this is a cover minder, and I'll go ahead and link this in the description from Drill Pen Frenzy on Etsy, and it's got a lid to it, but I should have actually, now that I think about it, I should have been using the lid, but I just had been putting it on my painting, just kind of loose like this, and that's why it got spilled a couple of times. But the other day, I set it on top of the base, that black base of that LED lamp, and it stuck, magnetic. I was like, oh gosh, I wish I would have been doing it because it's got a big base at the bottom. So if y'all have that light and you have something that's, you know, you know, some type of magnet on the bottom for trash, you might want to put it there and keep it safe. So let's see. My uh, biggest complaint that I had about the drills, hope y'all can see this, I know the light's not great, kind of had what I call the Swiss cheese drills they had like little craters in them little holes there were drills that were um stuck together which is annoying you know because they do kind of have that little plastic piece in between but you can just snap them apart with your fingernail um but there some had tags and then you would find these ones that my daughter likes to call they look like a fingernail you know just those long ones but um a lot of the a lot of ones that had the holes in them that was my biggest complaint they had just the little swiss cheese holes but y'all, this is not a lot. And I have to say the ones that have spilled, it wasn't a whole lot that spilled. So the trash was minimal. I, I have to, I have to say, I didn't, I know a lot of people have had um, some problems in the past with some of the DAC kits and other companies that have come out. And some of the drills have been really bad with trash, like especially some of the Black Friday ones. But this one was not a Black Friday one. So, you know, maybe they improved at that point. But um, yeah, it, the trash was not bad. I have nothing negative to say about this. It was um, just a pleasure to work on. There were a few times, I'm not gonna lie, there were a few times where I was feeling burnout because it was such a big painting and it's the biggest one I've ever done. I typically, you know, like we all, you wanna finish, finish something, you wanna move on, you wanna experience something else, something new, something different. Um, so, but the colors just kept me going. The colors were so pretty. Um, I love the pinks. My daughter actually asked me this morning, uh, I put it on the dining room table and I was showing everybody in the family that I finished it. And she's like, mom, what's your favorite part? And I really, you know, I hadn't really thought about that. And I looked around and I said, I really love this pink. To me, it's almost like a cherry blossom tree. I love, I love Mount Fuji. It's really pretty how they have the ABs flowing down like snow and her. And then of course, you know, this right here is beautiful with the orange ABs. She said her favorite part was this pink tree over here. She really likes this lighter pink and that's more like a cherry blossom if I were to name that. So just, just gorgeous, you know, all the flowers right here, the bridge, the pandas, you know, you've got a panda over here, you know, eating some bamboo, um, just so many fun things when you look at this, you know, I the fence in the background that kind of was a nice relief, a little bit of color blocking. There was quite a bit of confetti. Uh, there was quite a bit all the different greens, a lot of green. So if you like green, this is your painting. <laughs> There's a lot of greens, um, different shades. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the post review. Um, yeah, so the next step is gonna be framing. I've got a frame coming any day now. I ordered one from Walmart in this size. 
So I'll go ahead and uh, kind of complete the process of this painting with framing it. And so you'll see that framing video whenever I get that and I get that filmed, okay? All right, y'all, until next time, I will see you then. All right, love you. Okay, take care, bye.